Hello, welcome back. New weekly, we're free of that old weekly of random chaos that I did not particularly enjoy, but I still put my performances through all the same. We're back with some sap rank. I'm just going to go blind in the rank like I always do. It's not a good sign for you, brother, where you left. Okay, well, six out of eight is not bad for a first lobby in any case. This is a custom built lobby. I believe it's some sort of speedrun lobby in arena to get the 10 wins as fast as possible. I guess that means that every tier's got something very strong. And my eye tells me that is indeed the case. We've got synergies everywhere, obviously. we got pills, so ant is actually worth it. You know, I can take an ant. We've got levels on pets. I mean, I'm dreaming with this level of success. I'll be a moist turtle. Don't get me, don't get me wrong. Here we go. You know what I am. You know what I'm about. Let's put them like that. And let's have a good time. Okay. Quickly analyze this weekly. We've chosen the good pets. We know we know what pets are good. We don't need to worry. Everything's kind of standard in here. And everything's fairly standard in here. You can decide to pick up an African penguin. You can decide to pick up a peacock. This garlic. Naturally purchasable garlic. Which is a change. All that to end in a draw as usual. No one's no one's lost any. Oh, one person did. That's unfortunate. Okay. Um, I have to go for the level, even though that makes the buff inadequate because of the implications. Hatching chick. You already know the vibes. There's no jellyfish, so I don't really not really so into looking for something. Else, but I would roll instead of picking that up. And I mean. Give freeze me that pill first of all. I mean, this is just an obvious combination, all things considered. Maybe even put a toucan up front and then do a bit of combination magic here. And then we can, we can have like a multi laid synergy on this one. So you can get a little bit of value out of this and then. You can transfer that value. I mean, we can't lose with a 7-8 garlic double garlic. It's not about losing at this point. We can actually focus on stuff here. Scaling seems to be the play, but there's no pineapple for the lynx. So the lynx is kind of capped a little bit with some potential. I see waffle and a cow and cat. Obvious logic. Is that a sauropod as well? I mean, we know what we're looking for when we see that kind of stuff. I see poodle scaling. I see blue ring octopus scaling. I'm seeing a lot of very valuable things here. And I'm liking it. It's finally sensible. Now, I'm tempted to wait for a level before trying to sell this ant off, but it may never happen and that honestly is probably fine. Hmm. Yeah, I would I would Go for that and then re up on the garlic next turn. Now, lettuce and. Oh, well, we can't use lettuce at the moment, obviously. But I could see myself maybe wanting garlic, maybe not. We have temporary garlic for now. I'm gonna keep the pill frozen. It just seems like the right thing to do in this moment in time. Plus, there's no, no one's got scaling yet. Well, you do, but you're not actually scaling anything. You are. You're scaling your swan. You know what? Fifth play. That's the best you could have done, and you've done it. What else? Okay, Skunk. I don't see Dragonfly being that important, especially with, like, the next tier. I've got such superior scalers across the board that don't cap you with levels and stuff like that. So, honestly, I think taking Dragonfly and Penguin... You can take Penguin, and then you, you can take it, and then you sell it immediately for the next best thing once you get the option to do so. Blobfish Pill, finally... I Another viable option. You know. I'm seeing a lot of it. I'm loving it, honestly. A weekly where things make sense is a weekly which I would love to see. Okay. Re-up me on the garlic and level me. I would... You know what? While... I should have peeled that first, but... 
I didn't know I was going to pill it until I got a skunk. I could have changed that order if I so chose to. The lettuce is a good deal at this current juncture. So I'm not going to say no to it. We already got a level 3. Is there a bison in this pack? No. Okay, that's fine. But we have fair scalers here and there of natural melon and artificial melon via pill. There's, there's many ways in which this could be taken. And as of yet, the only team that could probably beat me is this team by virtue of... You're going to eliminate my strongest unit as of your anti-synergy with my leading duo here. I need to sell this toucan because it's not... It's, it's just... It was a gimmick, to be frank, and it's taken a bit too far now. It's not scaling or anything, so... I shouldn't need to do that, but we do have a skunk. So you know what? Maybe it's not that big of a deal after all. We think about it this way. This that's a huge pig. Right there. I see the I see the attack on my guy. He's going crazy mode, that's for certain, but okay, scale me. Give you give yourself some full time garlic. And honestly, a weasel, a weasel seems like the kind of thing which I would like to buy. Honestly, it just seems like a better value provider. I don't see the maybe bats powerful late game. You could make, you could convince me either way of that choice to be frank with you, but we need to level this hatching chick as well. By the way, because it's not. You can't you can't just justify it as it is. It needs to be a constant iterative state. We're not gonna be swimming along on this plus three plus three. Plus I think it's a good idea to buy that garlic as well, just because we're gonna we don't wanna freeze it. It would rock us next turn pear and I don't know, waffle. We can we can get waffle on streamer, there's no catfish, but catfish is kind of an annoying pet to have. It only works in some very niche situations. But it works, it works, but it's sometimes it's so much effort just to make it work. To the point where you you don't even bother, you know? All those buffs and you couldn't even scratch my team. Okay. Turtle. I'm good. Well, if you're gonna give me all of that, then you're gonna tempt me, but I would buy a pair. Okay, there we go. We're getting we're getting somewhere. I don't really want to buy. Oh, you have more health, so I think it's beneficial to keep it this way. This is tricky. If the Lima doesn't level in the starting set next turn, we have a better option. I'm gonna. Do a bit of selling and a bit of buying and enjoying myself. We've got this. The skunk is gonna mitigate the downsides of not being a scaling team already. At least nobody else has got that, you know, power. The, I see that, you know what? Chipmunk rice is actually like a turnover. I see how you're doing it. You can, you can, chipmunk rice pig, you put. You put the rice on the pig and you put the rice on like a better fish or a fi regular fish, like you can start getting mm, turn over the likes of which you can't even- Okay, that's- listen, you've defeated me there, fair play, that's- My team is noticeably worse. I'm not gonna buy waffle on you. I will, I will buff you though. Okay. Do I want to level next turn? Honestly, leveling this turn seems fine to me, but... I don't have a better option anyway, to be honest with you. Okay. I think we can, we can rock with the monkey for certain. So I'm happy with that decision. If the hatching chick doesn't level, it's got to go as well, because it's not providing me anything. The weasel can stay. It's, kind of, it's like a kind of generating me gold, but only if it's like a fallback solution. If we get to that dire of a stage in the game then 
Yeah, thank you. You've given me the profits that I required in this life. Okay, listen, I asked I asked it and I got it, so I can't really be mad. Octopus, you know what, Octopus, you are now being scaled. Um, how do I, okay, I would like you to go. Well, then I gotta get rid of something else. Okay, you're in. For sure. I, I wanna keep the skunk. I think this means I have to kill the weasel. Honestly, can, if I pill the weasel, is this like a profit? Yes, okay. Listen, I've never done that before, but you know what? It's actually a reasonable choice. I could have even bought and, bought and sold a blue ringed octopus. In this situation, we are for life. I should roll for maximum benefit here. Yes, exactly what I'm thinking. Whatever shows up to get me scaled, to get me leveled. Because you're fine, you can stay. You're giving a good buff and you've provided me value so far. You've got like a residual value as a unit, but you can easily be replaced next turn. Or in two turns when the tier 6 has become commonplace, you know. We've eliminated your team could have dealt me some serious blows. Okay, chocolate. Chocolate where? We should look at the opposition to judge this one. Um your scaling is gonna permanently be pretty good because you're buffing an octopus for life because of the baboon. I think we need to do anything, it's to get rid of your strongest unit there. Now we don't have broad scaling. As a consequence of our choice and this guy does have a skunk we can broadly scale if we so choose i would i prefer a better perk on you than garlic though so i'm gonna keep rolling yes okay listen you're hearing my prayers and frankly i would be dumb if i didn't put a tiger here it's just a better long-term investment, and you know what? Maybe, maybe lemon is good, maybe lemon is not good. I'll put a lemon on you, just for the time being. To make this synergy a little bit more rock solid. Here we go, okay. It's working for now. Level 2 skunk is gonna ride me, like, quite a while. I would buy pizza, and I would roll. I would just but you know what we, we we're here to buy stats stats first because the skunk purchases you know on a round to round basis it's not the decision you want to make it's tricky right i don't think i have like the decision making of this aspect of sap is not talked about by me as much as it should be is that the value proposition of bringing you level three versus taking the immediate benefit right now is kind of mixed you could argue either way I would say right now our team is great. We're, buying this is a 1-1 one, one buff, but it also increases the chance of getting a level 3 skunk. Not just because we're leveling it, but because we're freeing the shop to level it further. If you think about it that way, right? Okay, we're defeating everybody. I, I love to see it. But I think it makes sense to purchase it just on if only because... Okay, well, if we're not going to get a melon, then I would happily take a... A lemon. So that, I'm not gonna level you. I'm not gonna level you. But I will keep pizza around. And I will keep chicken leg around. Both of these are fairly good investments. There you can, you can tar target them as well. So I think it's fair to do it. We could also put tiger behind the skunk if we wanted to get frisky and crazy. And zany but Yo, you need level 2 skunk in your life. You don't have it. Here we go. We've eliminated another person and you lost. I, I presume and assume you lost to me. Which would be the thing that makes sense here. And we're making... Well, see, look, now we're making decisions to eliminate first and foremost. Because... 
we can eliminate you before your team gets good. I can tell you, you're a few changes away from a fantastic team. I'm gonna, listen, since now I'm back in my form, I'm back in my bag. This weekly, it makes sense, and therefore I'm the best at it, right? So, here's some criticism. The benefit should not have stick, stuck around, you should have peeled it as soon as it got to level 2. It has no place in a weekly with a pill. If you're hunting for a pill and it never came to you, then I can merely offer you an apology, right? Practically speaking. Listen. Like I said. I'm gonna look for a level if I can find one. If I can't find one, then that's fine by me. Found one, but I don't think we're gonna be able to see the fruits of it. Now, in this situation, you always level the tiger instead of the um, octopus because the tiger can be used on a multiple of units if you want to pivot as a general rule. Goodbye, my friend. First place immediately as soon as the weekly is back to so something that makes a bit more sense to me. You know, I'm, you know, I get that first place. Plus 12 immediately, that's validation right there, you know what I mean? Top 1% day 1! Not to be, uh, you know, squeaks day 1 or whatever, I don't know what that meme is. I don't watch GTA roleplay streams. But, regardless, the role we played in demolishing that weekly, there's something for you. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, set up your traction as the algorithm, you know that this weekly is going to be some meteoric return to greatness for me. I'm just flown, just flown through it. You know, you buy the, you buy the good standard tier one pets. You peel the ant. You don't let it stick around too long. You take the garlic from the lima to pad your early rounds with victory. You get some scaling. You get a hatching chick to keep that, you know, momentum going until you can pick up a scaler. We got. We chose a monkey. You could have chosen a poodle. You could have chosen a turkey. But you couldn't. I don't know what you're down with the turkey. Actually, forget the turkey. Don't do. Don't run a turkey in this weekly. I don't think you could get anything valuable from it. To be honest, I don't see any spawns. Um, but we re we could have run a dragon. You could have run cat sauropod, cow, zebras, stingray. I don't know about some fish. Some fish is actually underutilized. I feel like it's fairly useful, but because its ability doesn't like stack upon itself. Anyway, I waffled along too long for the end of this video. If you enjoyed, press the buttons and such. And yeah.